Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Sunday, January the 5th. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 2 and 110, and John chapter 15, verse 1 through 16. And please join me in singing the first verse of Good Christian Friends Rejoice. Good Christian friends rejoice with heart and soul and voice. Give ye heed to what we say. Jesus Christ is born today. Ox and ass before him bow, and he is in the manger now. Christ is born today. Christ is born today. Open my lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? Alleluia. Psalms 2 and 110, and please recite them together with me. Alleluia, why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The rulers of the earth take counsel together against you and your anointed. They say, let us break their bands and cast away their cords. You who sit in the heavens shall laugh. You laugh them to scorn. And then you speak to them in your wrath and vex them in your sore displeasure. I have set my ruler upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree God Most High has said to me. You are my son, and this day I have begotten you. Ask and I shall give you the heathen for your inheritance, and the whole earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, and dash them into pieces like a potter's jar. Therefore be wise, O rulers, be instructed, O judges of the earth. Serve God most high with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are they that put their trust in him. Alleluia, the Most High said to my master, sit at my right hand. I will make your enemies your footstools. God will wield the rod of your strength out of Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will offer themselves in the day of your power. In the beauty of holiness I have begotten you like dew from the womb of the morning. Our God has sworn and will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. With God at your right hand, you will smite the rulers in the day of wrath and rule over the nations. And God will judge among the heathen, will heap high the corpses, will smash heads over all the earth. And God will drink of the brook by the road with head lifted high. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 15, beginning at verse 1. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit he prunes to make it bear more. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers, 
and such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. And if you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, beloved Jesus, we offer ourselves in these days of your power. Rule in our midst and use us to bring your kingdom, for the power and the glory are yours. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.